has a true picture of that in our head of sound. Mm -hmm. They do have a bit more long slater. Yeah. One base is on the road at the same trip as another, so I don't really get to put it to the ground. Uh, they go through uh, the uh, news tech department in Sydney, 
and we get information on that. Uh, that's given to the a couple of dollars, but um, that, that will say the engine will hold the, the copyright uh, side of um, selling and all that side. We actually hold the copyright on the thought behind um, and the image content of this. And just to give you an example, there is an image here that I can keep in mind that I did a pick down at um, this value moving. And it was a little bit of a last year here. I don't know how to change it. I had a cat standing next to me. And the, the key, the one and only thing that everyone wanted at the start was in Holland. It was that baby bitch who was walking around with it. She arrived. Um, she was really standing probably half a kind of way. Long lenses. And the cat guy standing right next to me. I knew she'd arrived. I knew she'd walk up and walk out here. He did it and then he stood next to her and it was a bang, 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 bang. Um, and the cat boys said nothing. I don't know what it was steering in, but for the rest of the three weeks I was down in it, I was up to him. Um, we made that as an exclusive here. I then got a phone call from an agency that said, how are we going to bring them to end? Off of that picture outside, it was 200 people. It was 200, 100 from the agency, but it feels like shot off the news when we were out of the car. I could have had a house paint on. But that's the sort of fine line between... So these ones were the ones that were going to get permission, but before the people were supposed to be able to get them to be used. Yeah. To be able to put them up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
they're successful. Oh, I think people look into my studio and say, oh, well, what would just like that? Yes. Like, to themselves, standing in that spot or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, look like that. So, you know, I have to be able to repeat it. And, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to change it for myself. But, um, you know, there's successful, um, I, in my studio, I use a lot of natural light. And so I'll shoot certain times of day and I, when I can do that. And I, you know, yeah, if it's successful, I will do it again. Sometimes. But I'm trying to always change it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You say not the same for your style of content, just a little bit here, there's not the soft images, it's not hard to come back in the hard to use images. So you're going to struggle to paint it so all the new news there, but then you want to do it first, you have to take images along with your own painting.
access to the global open data. To push the global controversy, um, I've seen this as the representation of the global data. It's a very diverse community within the world that we have a lot of different perspectives from the different communities coming together to make this. Um, I'm just wondering, looking at the, the face on the panel, there's no disrespect to anything contributed to the show, but how can we possibly increase the diversity of voices in um, the representation of the community itself? I think this is a question which Michael and I have a lot to say on. Um, I'm particularly referencing ideas such as news media, 70% of the traditional news market. Maybe it is new media um, and other forms of journalism. So that, that was one of the reasons that they just decided which way they would take certain project. Because then uh, there are a lot of stories um, that maybe that don't come through the first place so that journalists might not go chase. Maybe it's maybe dramatic enough, or maybe it's, um, it's not a big thing like that, like the VX is popular in the community. Be interesting. So we decided, okay, well, let's set up a part of the ABC where the community can decide on the story they don't want and then use their own voice to, to share their stories and then we'll just use the ABC network and distribution so that we'll be able to portray that. Um, and some of the challenges we've come up against is just getting the technical skills of the community to be at, at the level that we will expect from the quality level. Um, so, and it's still a big experiment at the moment. The idea was to be able to get a more um, diverse range of stories and more diverse range of voices. And as journalists, if there's a great story that pops out of nowhere that's unexpected, the journalists can say, hey, this is great. We're the professionals. We can you know, cross-check the facts and, and go out and create a, uh, a really good um, piece of paper for the next level and then be able to prepare that. Um, but we're only over a year and a half in and finding that it's successful in some areas and other areas are still. Is that interface working? Are you getting interest from the traditional news profession and maybe hmm. interfacing with it? It's actually growing, and a lot of the stories that starts from someone's community in one of the regional areas sometimes gets picked up and it spreads really quickly with journalists on the other side of the country or go find out what's happening in their community related to that topic. Hmm. And we've also um, a few times gone around the traditional media channels where, say, um, it's supposed to get approval from certain organizations before it gets out, but because a community member made the story, and it's only out there, and then it opens the gates, and then suddenly the, um, the journalists start to ask questions. And, and get them. So what's your normal output for that, like TV or...? Um, yeah, well we just started a month ago with our own television program. Um, every Friday, 6.45 on News 24. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, so you can check that, but at the moment we've got the website. It's still more of a, you can comment stuff, but we want to get some public interactive with people start to share ideas and find each other. We want to get healthy stories. Um, we've also found that some people who are, there's a really great photographer for history photography in South, and he's gotten involved so much that he starts to get commissioned work from other people, and he's able to travel with other people, flying in public, flying somewhere to do the talk with him. So it's kind of an interesting way of utilizing the platform to build a profile of what kind of techniques. We actually use um, a list of data as well as a resource at the gathering for the local conference and all the art groups. There's a part of the other group too, which is what you may have seen in some of the pictures of the region, but the images in our area are based on the entire area of the bar and the entire area. Uh, we do with their data. And I think the, something that I found is um, uh, really beneficial, not only to us, but to the community, is the influence, the influence that we have uh, as a media. Um, a really good example is a couple of years ago, we went out to the Bullet uh, out on the border, where uh, just one of the local uh, farmers there took us across the road. We found this, um, we found this tree with this etching in it. Three bottle of very high. Council wanted to move them over. They wanted to move them over. 
the tree is running around and you want to see old photos or barks, you know, you'll be made out of connection, you made out of part of the tape. That would be the search part of the film and So we then duplicate that point, send it to the National Park. And there's no way going through the and have to make a point So that's the sort of influence that just from a basic news story, someone saying, hey, can you get a picture of this tree? It's now influenced. Mm -hmm. That's a landmark in particular, you know, for our shape of the you just pick up the head of a particular group in particular areas, and there are lots of hidden landmarks still around the landscape and where we come from, but we don't know that there are other areas in the book. In terms of the book, we don't know that, unless someone from our community will step up and say, well, this is a piece of um, our culture and reality, which we really don't know. I guess my point is that you would need the approach to come from that community towards the digital media. My question is more about the access points. Um, you know, um, how many representatives in that community are available to the design? How many use of the code of the or collecting of the ship or? Thank you. 
road. It's a new kind of stock road which is you know, comes out. It's the original sin inside you there that oozes. <laughs> and you make you know, mick down the top and you get that swirl. That that's the stuff that makes you tingle when you get that shot and you will take that shot visually on the tip. Well some of those people that we meet on the weekly daily basis here, how I grab all of that. I can still I still get kicked out of just meeting the everyday people. And being able to tell their stories. And and so you can find that their emotions is to me that's far more interesting. Just as
counter for those moments. So it doesn't always have a reputation for unbiased sliding. Mm-hmm. But I mean, your brief would have to be not representing it. It can't have a point of view. It has to be like, it's catching up. I don't know. I don't know. What